Okay, this is the Nikon D3000. It's very similar to the Nikon D60, which is another very popular camera. Now what I'm going to do, we're just going to turn it from the auto mode and take, take it to the P mode, which is in program. And in program mode, we get access to the exposure compensation, which is this button up here. It's um, the button just on, on the right behind the shutter button and we activate that one by pressing that button down and turning the dial. You can see we've added plus one stop there. It's in third of a stop increments. Let's see how much we can put in. Oh, there we go, we can put full five stops in. That's, a, that's an awful lot of compensation. You probably find you won't do much more than one stop of exposure compensation extra. That's going to make your photo twice as bright there. If we go the other way down to minus, minus one, that is a full half as bright. If we go down that way. Okay, in P mode, which stands for program, um, unfortunately, we have to set our ISO sensitivity by ourselves now. So I'm just going to get that up in the menu. That's in the photographing in the photographing menu. Just a little camera there. Enter ISO sensitivity settings. Now if we're in outside in bright conditions, like out in the sun, I would say go 100 or 200. I'd say we're in open shade, go to ISO 400 around there. Um, now if it's dark, say you're inside near a window, say 800 is good. Uh, if it's quite dark, go 1600 or over. It's going to leave it on 400 now. 400 is a nice compromise. It'll do, it'll do a lot of things, 400. Okay. Okay. On this Nikon, I'm going to put it to S for shutter speed priority mode. Now, this is the shutter speed we have it set on. That's one eighth of a second at the moment. Now we change our shutter speed simply by turning this dial here. And what you will notice as well, that the aperture is actually changing as well. I'm changing the shutter speed. The camera is changing the aperture to match. And I'll just prove that by pointing it a different direction. See so the shutter speed stayed the same, but the aperture is changing with the light. So we're setting the shutter speed, the camera is setting the aperture. Okay, now you've got quite a range of shutter speeds there. Okay, that's three seconds. There you go. 30 seconds, or oh, it's too much light to go to 30 second exposure. And um, there we go with this lens, we probably can't go much more than there. There, 1 20th of a second, and it's going to get too dark soon. There we go, it's too dark to use this lens and this light at 125th of a second. Okay, I'm changing the camera to a for aperture priority mode. Now it's showing this is the aperture shown here. Now I'm in aperture priority mode. I simply turn the command dial again and it will change the aperture. For, will, it changes the aperture here. The camera changes the shutter speed to match. Gives you that lovely representation of your aperture. Uh, big aperture, small number, small aperture, bigger number. And as we change that aperture, the camera sets the shutter speed to match according to how much light's there. Okay, now I'm switching it to M for manual mode. Now in manual mode, we have control of both the shutter speed and the aperture. And also see it's given us this little indication here, which is the, which is a light meter showing that it's way too dark to use this shutter speed and this aperture. So the rear dial changes the shutter speed. So, and the 
rear dial with this exposure compensation button changes the aperture. So let's open up the aperture a bit. Okay, now we're within one and a third stops there and we'll change the shutter speed a bit more, slow it down a little bit. Now the camera thinks that's correctly exposed there at 1 15th of a second at f5.6. So again, uh, just change it in manual mode. Rear command dial by itself changes the shutter speed. The exposure compensation button and the rear command dial changes the aperture.